apparently yarn is a big commodity in Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> those cap, those Afghans aren't going to make themselves packages. I know, I know. It's a woman in Tennessee, she refusing to do any business with anyone that comes in that says they want pussy hat pink yarn. I didn't know what a pussy hat was. I thought, I, I thought, okay, well, well uh, maybe it's like something for your cat. I don't know, <laughs> but apparently it's this hat. <laughs> it's got little ears on it, and you can, you know, uh, it's very popular over in Japan where everybody's wearing like little ears because reasons, I guess. But anyway, <laughs> Hawaii, no, it's not what it's for, Packer. Come on, I'm just saying. I'm just. <laughs> But apparently she has some specialized pink yarn because pink doesn't appear anywhere else on the planet, just in her shop and just in yarn. Of course, there's a, a comedian who said uh, there are certain colors that only exist in yarn. But <laughs> <laughs> Hey, <laughs> you colorist. You, you, <laughs> your bigotry is showing, you colorist. <laughs> 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 but, she, but she's a Christian, and she's like, hey, if you are going to go and su support uh, fighting for women's equality, then no pussy hat pink father colors for you. You, do, you, go, you don't get any. I'm not going to sell to you because apparently she forgets how economies work. What they, <laughs> I have a money. You have a shop. You have a thing I want to buy. I, I I buy a thing and I use it for whatever I want. You don't have a say over what I do with that thing after I buy it. That's how this works. Uh. <laughs> the funniest thing about this is her name. Her name is Elizabeth Poe. Not even kidding. <laughs> Not even kidding. And she has she's the proprietress of the Joy of Knitting in Franklin, in in Tennessee. She's a female business owner. Congratulations. You know, we need more female business owners. And Williams, Williamson County registered voter. Like, that was neat. We needed to know that. Which makes it doubtly unfortunate that she doesn't recognize the debt that she owes to women's liberation movement. After turning down a sale of yarn to a customer who bought to, that sought to knit one uh, for uh, one of the movement statements line, Poe told the customer, she told her this, and I cannot believe that it just came out of her fucking mouth. She says, ma'am, if, if I had yarn for a project that you were looking for, I cannot condone that behavior anymore, and I just cannot, and I just can't sell it. Really? Really? You, you, what fucking difference does it make what they do with the, the yarn after you've sold it? You made a money. You made a money, and the fact is that the woman is charging, what was it, Connie, about $13, $15 for a, a bolt of this shit or whatever it is, however they uh, Yeah, it. Actually, yes. Uh, just be looked it up real quick here. I'm sorry. I have her page open, and uh, they, yeah, $13 to $115 per skein of yarn. That's a lot of yarn. That's a that's, lot. That's a lot of fucking money. Yeah. I can buy a skein of yarn at, well, my local Walmart for about under three dollars mm -hmm. that's really the common pussy hat color pink connie well you know what guess what uh what's ironic is her facebook page the uh the little banner you know mm -hmm. the whatever you call that on facebook um it's all pink yarn <laughs> maybe, the, maybe she's the distributor of pink yarn this is where the country's pink yarn is coming from is from the joy of knitting shop <laughs> see my question is say? are people coming in and saying i'm doing this hat i need yarn for it I don't know. I, you know, I wonder. I, I don't think that that's what's happening, I, Tom. I think I see where you're going with this. I think that it's entirely this woman's, this woman uh, asking the people coming in, well, why do you need pink yarn? What's it? Yeah. I'm, well, I, I, what's I'm, it to you? Okay. I, I'm knitting a vagina. What do you want yeah. to know? Okay. Let me tell you that uh, I actually I shared this in our Dropbox. The town that they live in in Tennessee, mm -hmm. all right, uh, they have a 65.21% of the people in this county or town are religious. 
and that's and of those Baptists, Methodists, Catholics, and other uh, make up the majority of that. 65.21%. Uh, in the USA, the percentage of people who identify as religious are 49.42%. Mm -hmm. I looked at a, a web page for this town in Tennessee too, and somebody said, "Yeah, if you're religious, you'll fit right in." Oh Jesus Christ! I am. Uh, I, you know, sure so if I, to, if I ever have to go through Tennessee ever again. I'm gonna make sure I I steer clear of that city. They're right. They're like either south or north of uh, Nashville, and Tennessee is actually an unusual state because I think it's the uh, the there's the east end of the state and there's the west end of the state, and one of yeah. them is predominantly uh, conservative GOP, and the other is uh, uh, more liberal. Yeah. It's it's a weird state. I don't know. I, I've never I, been there. I've, I've driven through Tennessee. I've driven through Tennessee, and I've driven through Nashville. It's 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 a huge city. It's a huge city. Now this is from uh, her page. This is something she posted up on her Facebook at the Joy of Knitting with the recent <laughs> Women's March on Washington. I asked. I'm going to do this in my Southern accent. Okay. With there the recent go. with with the recent Women's March and on Washington, and I, I went into a totally different. Forget it. I, I'll just read it. <laughs> I can't get into think, my... Think Dolly. Channel your inner Dolly Parton. I, that's I can't, Tennessee. I got to channel my inner Gomer Pyle here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> well, the recent Women's <laughs> March on Washington, I asked that you want... Ask that if you want yarn for any project for the women's movement, that you please shop for yarn elsewhere. The vulgarity, vile, and evilness of this movement is absolutely despicable. She doesn't understand how a thing works, apparently. That kind of behavior is unacceptable and is not welcomed at the joy of knitting. I will never need that kind of business to remain open. Two wrongs will never make it right. Again, she doesn't know how a thing works. As the owner of a business... Of of this business and a Christian, I have a duty to my customers and my community to promote values of mutual respect, love, compassion, understanding, and integrity. I think she just totally took that whole statement and just flushed it. Because At what point are we supposed to be <laughs> goose stepping? Yeah, she is def she's doing the exact opposite of what she just put there. Respect and love and all that compassion, then you should have respect and love and compassion for those people. You shouldn't say, hey, I'm not going to sell you a thing because I don't like what you're doing. That's none of your goddamn business. She goes, the women's movement is counterproductive to the unity of family, friends, community, and nation. I do pray for those wo these women. May the God work out his love in their hearts and continue to heal and unite Americans. Elizabeth, like she's signing a, her, like she's writing to a friend, so she puts her name on it. She like we didn't know it was, did it. And, and, uh, she calls ahead, women's Connie. genitalia no she calls women's genitalia vile yeah and uh, actually on uh, Hermant meta on uh, patheo says you know Hermit. how much self-hatred does she have that she considers it, it, it that's that's just grotesque it's 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 wrong and there's a a meme that she shares on her page. This does not mean I will, uh, I am a knitter. This does not mean I will knit for free. Yarn is expensive. Thank you. Well, God, yeah, it is in your shop. And I actually posted a response to that. I said, this is very Christian of you. Mm -hmm. You know, it just, uh, this whole thing is, anyway, I don't, I don't want to dominate. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Tom, go ahead. Go ahead. Tom. Well, it's, it's like typical religious logic. I mean, they believe in a loving God that kills everybody. They believe in pro-life unless they're actually alive. Then you know, kill them. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's, they, you know, it's everything's, ba or... everything's backwards. It's like bizarro reality for religious people. Everything they they pro profess to you know stand for is the exact opposite of what they actually stand for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The scary thing to me is that this woman looks very much like my stepmother. Like, oh God, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> If, well, if they had a different name there, I'd be like, uh, I didn't know she opened a uh, Wait. yarn shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. The whole pussy hat thing was, well, it was, it timed to, co coincided with our president, uh, his comment about grabbing a woman's pussy. And yeah. 
it, yeah. it coincided with the Women's March, which was actually the Women's March in Washington, D.C. was peaceful and positive and very well attended, and there were zero wet arrests. And the pussy hat is a demand for fair treatment. Yeah. Somebody shouldn't just be able to come up and, you know, to take back women's bodies and, and say, look. And you know, uh, the thing about the Women's March, and all those marches that were across the nation everywhere, and they, in some places mm -hmm. in other countries because they decided to march for whatever reason, I guess. There was you absolutely can't, you can't make it to Washington, no, D.C. Yeah, there was there was absolutely nobody got arrested. Nobody. Nope. Not even one arrest. Not, no one even got a fine. And so mm -hmm. these these right wing nut job religiotards out there are saying, "Hey, dude, they did a really bad thing." Well, hey, there was no arrest. So what are you complaining about? You're always complaining <laughs> about. Oh, look at look at all the violence that they're doing. Look at this. Like, no, none of that. No, no arrest. No violence. No nothing. So what do you got to to stand on? Oh, they're the they're filled with devil spirit, mm -hmm. Jezebel, fucktard. Well, 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 you know if they came in and said, I want to uh, knit a gun holster. She's like, oh, yeah, that that's perfectly fine. <laughs> in my well, pretty I gun holster. I'll give it to you on sale. <laughs> well, how about you do that? If you're in Tennessee, and if you, if you actually listen to this show, and you know where this woman is, go in there and see if she'll sell you yarn for a gun holster. and let it, and Goddess Glenn is in Tennessee. Yeah, Goddess Glenn is in Tennessee. Maybe he'll go out there and see. Yeah, I want to buy some pink uh, yarn. I want to knit a gun holster. Can I do that? <laughs> I'm, I'm absolutely sure she'd have no problem with that. I would wonder if she didn't. If she didn't, that would be the biggest hypocrisy out there. Her okay. Her her Facebook page is is uh, designated as female. I'm like, oh god, you don't think that men knit and crochet? Well, I certainly don't because I can't do a knitting. I can't do a knit. I failed a mac. I failed a macrame in grade school. Yeah, you know what though? My ex, a late father-in-law, not only knitted or crocheted, he also tatted lace. He, yeah, he was an amazing tatted man. Lace. Yes, he did. Yeah. Well, he was born in 1903 or something. So you know, he was just. Yeah, no, no, sorry, 1913, but um, yeah, yeah, he could tat, he learned how to do that. Uh, just I like, don't even yeah. know what the hell that is. <laughs> I know you know that. doilies? Uh, yeah, he made doilies. <laughs> <laughs> Those lazy, never mind, never mind. He was you know from the 1800s? <laughs> <laughs> Saw some sure. in the museum. <laughs> People oh, love God. the doilies. Oh, declare. <laughs> <laughs> I got the vapors down. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. This, this woman's business deserves to fail. Yeah, there. I I hope her business fails spectacularly. It won't though. She's it won't. Surrounded no. by she's surrounded by the the loving arms of her good Christian women. Yeah. Yeah. 